Hello friends, my name is Inchronic, and I am not a YouTuber, but you should still listen to me. Because like you, I've tried to be a YouTuber. My problem is that I started way too early. Let me explain. When I was 12, I wanted to be a YouTuber. So I started making Minecraft videos back when that was really popular with the rise of Sky Does Minecraft and you know the only really like, content house that I ever cared about which was Team Crafted. I don't know how many of you know what that is though because they broke up a long time ago. And even though most of that stuff died out by the time I was in high school, I kept making videos. I kept voice acting, and I kept editing, and I kept doing cool things, and let me tell you, I think that's good. I think kids who want to become YouTubers should try being YouTubers. But let me tell you why it doesn't work out 99.999% of the time. No one is watching kids. And you might be thinking, well, what about those family channels or those toy review channels? Let me just say, those are great examples, but there's one thing wrong with them. Those channels don't work because of the children. Family channels work because of the adults who are there to plan big things, able to buy the best equipment, able to do all the cool editing and hire people, whatever they need to do to make their content the best. It doesn't work because of the children. I mean, they're there to appeal to a younger audience, but they're not making the content. And the same thing goes for those toy review channels. There are adults filming those videos, editing those videos, putting together the thumbnails, people with experience, people who know the subject. And I'm not saying you can't know the subject, I'm just saying it comes with age. I'm not saying you can't make good content as a kid, but you simply won't be on par with the people who are older than you. And do you want to know something crazy? That's not even the biggest reason people aren't watching kids on YouTube. It's because of the stigma around watching children. Let me ask you something. As a kid or an adult, when was the last time you watched a child YouTuber? Or even a child TikToker? Any, anyone? No? Because it's weird. They're not making content you want to watch. They're not making stuff up to par with what you watch. And sometimes their videos are just a little cringy, especially short form content. I used to make TikToks when I was a teenager. I am not proud of those TikToks. And no, I am not talking about your friends. You should be supporting your friends. You sh they should be supporting you in whatever you want to do, even if that's YouTube. But no rational adult is going to watch you as a child, and if they are, that is concerning. I'm not going to get into why that is concerning. There are plenty of videos on the internet telling you why adults watching you at a young age is a nasty thing to happen, and why you should be looking out for adults in your comment section because those people might be after you. As for children, if your audience as a child is more children, they're not going to want to watch you long term. That's because you change. You're going to change so much until you're 17 or 25 or 30. You are going to be continuously changing. I know I have. I know tons of people have. All the big YouTubers you're watching haven't been making the same content since they were 12 because people's interests change because quality changes, because people figure out what they want to make and what they want to do, and that stuff changes who you are. I think it takes a lot of luck to make it on YouTube, and that's not something that can be explained or taught. It's just something where you hone your skills over years of use, and eventually you become really good at what you do, but that still doesn't guarantee you a spot at the table. And if you don't make it, that's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. I know I did that a lot when I was little. I used to think the whole world was ending if my video didn't get enough views, but it's okay. Not everyone is gonna make it. It's okay to not be famous. It's okay to not have your entire life on the internet. And if you really do try and just go for it, know that you might fail. And that's okay. You are not alone. 
no one is going to judge you. You will still find what you want to do with your life and you'll still go be happy and hopefully successful and everything will be okay. You do not have to be an influencer. Or at least you don't have to make those decisions yet. But if you find someone peddling you some sort of course or BS on how to get famous really quick, those people are lying to you. Even if it's someone you really trust or an influencer you watch all the time, if they start telling you that they can teach you how to do it, they can't. They got lucky. Everyone who is big on this platform got lucky in one way or another, and that doesn't happen to everyone. And I want to reiterate, that's okay. As someone who's tried to make it on social media and failed, let me tell you, it's not worth throwing your life away on a gamble, you know? Because the odds of you becoming famous on YouTube as an adult are slim to none. But there is no, there is, I repeat, no room for children on their own to become successful on this app. There's no market for it. There's no one going out to find children making their own videos and think, man, this is who I want to subscribe to. This is who I want to be a long-term viewer of. And that's okay. Because again, it would be really weird if adults suddenly started flocking to your videos as a child. And for you 17 year olds who are a little snarky, I'm not talking to you. I have seen plenty of 17 year olds get famous, you know? They're close enough to being an adult that people, when they look at you, they don't automatically associate you with being a child. And that's a good thing for fame. There is a market out there for people who are 17, 18, and older, but there is no market for children. So don't ride everything on buying an expensive camera and trying to be the 1% of YouTube. Because if it doesn't work out, that needs to be okay. You should be okay with that. And it's okay to try your best. That's what this platform is built on. People trying their best every week, every day, every month to put out content that they enjoy making, that they feel like they put effort into. And I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. I mean, my lighting's not great and I don't know what editing tricks I'm going to use, but I hope this gets to someone. You know, some kid or teenager who's willing to throw their life away for this. Because I've been in your shoes. It's not worth it. It's, it's good to try. And it's good to make meaningful content that you are going to enjoy looking back on. But risking everything to get famous is a dumb idea. Now go have fun and make whatever content you want to make and go be yourself on the internet, you know? And be okay if it doesn't work out. I'll be rooting for you. Good luck and goodbye.